<laughs> Detron did this. I like that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Detron Does It. Of course, I am Detron, and I does stuff. And this week, I am going to be reviewing a product that I recently picked up off of Amazon, but really just got a chance to mess around with uh, today. And I tell you, for what I paid, this thing is legit. I'm talking about a 1080p outdoor projector by Yoic. Yoic? Is it Yoic? Yoic? whatever, a company from Amazon. Honestly, I was expecting to get a device that half worked, the picture quality would be awful, and I'd be regretting the purchase. But honestly, it's the exact opposite. This thing has actually been pretty solid and I got an amazing deal. You have to check out the description below to find out exactly how I got it for what I got it for. If you're in the market for an outdoor projector, I'm gonna show you in today's video how this Yoic native 1080p projector might be the one for you. I'm gonna give you guys a look inside the box, see what's in there, set it up, and then I'll show you video in a couple of different areas. One set up in my kid's room with the blackout curtains on. I'll also show you guys my setup outside when all of the lights are off so you guys can get a really good idea of what the picture is like at night. I went into buying this projector with a lot of skepticism, but I'm sure after today's video, you guys will probably feel like me and say, it was a solid investment. All right, so let's open up the box and see what's inside. So it is clear to me that one of the ways they keep the price low is the packaging. There are no thrills here, but they did include a simple projection screen. It's 100 inches, which after I put it up actually seemed pretty small. Also in the box is the power cable, an HDMI cable, and then an additional video adapter. Once you get this thing out of the packaging, again, the device is as simple as the box. They do give you the ability to work on the focus and a keystone right there on the device so you can adjust the focus of the picture and also the tilt of the video. There's some controls here, but it also comes with a remote. There's a VGA port, two USBs, two HDMIs, a headphone jack, and an AV jack. And of course, on the front of this thing is the lens. Now let's go in my kid's room and get this thing set up. Now, I'm not gonna walk through all of the details on the setup of this thing because it's pretty easy, you just plug it in and turn it on. But what I do wanna cover are some of the things that were important to me with this projector. So I wanted to make sure that it was at least 1080p, uh, 5G compatible, because we have 5G at the house. Uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth were like a necessity. The fact that it shows 4K was not a huge deal for me, but at the end of this, you'll see some of the 4K video that I played outside. It was actually pretty clear. Now, one of the most important things for me was the ability to use AirPlay or cast directly from my iPhone, and it is compatible with iPhone and Android when it comes to screen sharing. Now, while this main screen and the way that the device functions is pretty basic, I'm not really here for all of that. I'm here for the things that make my viewing experience more impactful. That's the ability to get a very clear picture, which this thing is like 12,000 lumens, so you get a bright, clear picture, except right there, the corner of the image was a little blurry, but that was more about me utilizing the focus on the top of the device uh, than it was about the device itself. Here, we got it set up in the room. I'm using the HDMI cable right to my wife's phone, and I'm gonna turn off the lights, and now you can see that this picture is really high quality. It also has a built-in speaker, you can attach a Bluetooth speaker to this to get an even better sound or headphones since this thing comes with Bluetooth 5.0. And while it has a lot of flexibility in the devices that you can connect to it like Chromecast or PlayStation or Xbox, you can also mount it to a ceiling or set it on a table like I did. Now that we've got that covered, let's head outside so I can show you guys why I bought the projector in the first place, and that's to watch movies outside. I wanna utilize this courtyard that I have here, and I thought this projector might be a great way to do it. All right, so here is a trailer for Spider-Man. As you can see, this is with all of my lights up top on. If I turn my ring light off, you can still make out everything that's going on. So if you were trying to say, watch a football game in the daytime, you could still see this picture. Is it super clear? No, but again, this is with a lot of light shining in. When the action's moving, it's not blurry. You can definitely make out everything very clearly. So this is a 4K trailer and you can see high quality definition in it. Uh, but again, the lights that we have on are sort of washing it out. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pause it really quickly, go turn out the lights and that way you guys can see exactly what it looks like when the no lights are on. 
All right, so when all of the lights go out, there is an instant improvement in the picture quality on this video. Here's a zoomed in image and you can make out all of the details of this trailer. Again, and now this is how far away we are with the camera and still you get pretty good detail from this video. So here I just put in some fast car movement. That way you guys can see that the picture is not blurred at all when you have things that are rapidly moving on the screen. Um, here's some 4K animal footage, which in person, it looks even better than what you're seeing on the screen here. Now this review wouldn't be a good one if I didn't address the drawbacks, which I feel like there are three. Uh, the first one is the fan, it's loud. And so when this thing is running in the house, I don't know if you want this to be your primary viewing device because it can get a bit annoying to hear that fan sort of kick in and run on high. Uh, the second thing is gonna be the stand on the front. It's adjustable, it's like an adjustable leg that you twist out, uh, but because the tables that I used were really low, I found myself having to jam things underneath it to get it to tilt just right. Uh, so that's not ideal, but if you have the right kind of pedestal stand, you should be just fine. And then the last thing is this thing needs to be plugged in. So you can't go full remote with it. If you've got an extension cord or plugs nearby, then you're A-OK. -okay. But if you're trying to use this thing somewhere where power is at a minimum, chances are you are gonna be out of luck. But that's a pretty small set of drawbacks when you're talking about a projector that I was able to source for $105. I mean. I think this thing is a quality pickup, and if you're in the market for an outdoor projector, you may want to look into it. Well, that's it guys. Just wanted to show you guys this pickup and let you know that if you're in the market for a cheap outdoor projector, this might be the way to go. This thing does need to be plugged up, but you know what? If you got outlets, you got a winning projector. As always, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notifications button, get some alerts, find out when we drop dropping new videos, and if you decide not to like, share, or subscribe, you know what? I won't even be mad at you. Till next time, guys. Peace.